darlings welcome back to my youtube channel i am khoshiradi noko rakoma and my throat is definitely open okay hey my darlings so i'm alone in the house i feel fresh i feel good i feel replenished i feel alive after the hectic weekend that i had so i'm gonna do something very laid back and fun something sad but fun so i hope you're ready for it and but first i want to show you what i'm wearing because i feel like it. <laughs> i think this is the point where i need to consider going back to gym i only went for like two days but those two days count really um i'm i, I really am so fit so this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing this cute um bodysuit that i got from the fix over the weekend mm -hmm. and i'm wearing these pants these which i love but they're so tight on me right now i'm not comfortable i have to pull them up every chance i get um mm -hmm. okay anyway i am going to do a story time with you guys so i just want to tell you um a story about one ex of mine my first heartbreak very fun and sad at the same time well it's not sad anymore but it was very sad back then but right now i'm like you know what whatever so i get to uj 2015 first year i get to the town and regional planning class and i have a little meeting with myself okay and i'm like look baby girl you are not going to date on campus and you are definitely not going to date your classmates all right i'm like okay cool fine fine dear self i do hear you and we do agree there so that's like the argument that i had with myself but well matters of the heart so it happens that we had presentations one time and you know obviously during presentations we dress up and and you know we take pictures before we actually start the presentations so okay i'm so sorry i'm having i'm having my cake here it looks very messy um I'm, I'm i'm actually very tired that's why i'm saying i'm i'm replenished well i was tired but i feel better now because we had a very hectic weekend we had my dad's 50th birthday surprise dinner slash bride and it was a success um yeah everything went as planned and the important part is that he was actually surprised because that was the point so that went pretty well so i'm having leftovers you guys anyway all right so we're busy taking pictures no problem i'm taking pictures with my friends from class and there's this guy that's also from class but he's not really my friend and i'm not like really used to him but he comes and and he joins in and i mean that was fun so why say no you can't say no we're just taking pictures nothing wrong there so fine we do take pictures and i think uh we took some with my phone so fine we go to class do uh, our presentations and you know school is over for the day i go back to rest and i have a nap because i was tired and then i wake up i think it was around eight in the evening i wake up and i just go through the pictures that we took during the day and i send um the pictures to the people who are in the pictures with me so i send the pictures to, uh to him and fine he's like we don't like it's so weird because we never used to talk or anything but after i sent him my pictures he's like okay he's chilling by so i go to uj uh the DF dfc this is the dorenfontein campus so we have um john o that's like the main building the biggest building i think at, on the campus uh john o right so he says he says to me after i send him pictures okay obviously he thanks me for sending the pictures and he's like um do i want to chill with him he's at john oh i'm like no okay cool because i'm not doing anything anyway so fine i take off my pjs and I put on my jeans and my sneakers and i live rest and i go to john oh and i get there and he's chilling by himself he has his laptop okay fine we just sit there for, and we just talk and 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 
I can see that he's getting really comfortable and cozy, right? No problem. So I think we left the building around 12 in the morning, 12 a.m. So he, we were walking and he was accompanying me to race and, and it was quite chilly at that point. So he wanted to take off his jacket and give it to me because it was cold. And then I'm like, oh, no, don't worry. Don't bother yourself. I'm just about to get to race and I'm going to get in bed and I'll be warm, right? But no, homeboy insists on taking off his, his his jacket and giving it to me i'm like okay cool you want to be a gentleman i'll let you be one so he gives me and i wear it and fine so when we get to race he's not about to let me go you know i get there and and we hug and and i'm supposed to go to race and nigga won't let me go i don't know for what reason so we ended up like standing outside my race for like um, it was around 12 when we left uh, John O building. I think I went to bed. Like, when when we separated and he went to his place and I went to his, like, the sun was almost already out. So it was, like, around 5 or 6 or something. So we stood outside for that long. And, um, you know, I like, I really don't know what happened. But we were standing there and talking. And, okay, I hugged him goodbye. And the next thing I know we are kissing and we're like outside and we're like standing and and oh goodness it was so it was intense you guys so yeah that happened and and okay fine eventually we separate he goes to his place i go to his and then he takes me um on the day like later on he's like okay he's, he tells me to come to his place um i'm a bit reluctant because i know that he probably wants to sleep with me and i didn't want that but i go anyway um i really want to have this you guys but i forgot it in the freezer and now it's frozen and i'm really craving it so it's so sad now because i can't have it the way i want to have it and it's the only one left Also, I don't know why I'm having alcohol with cake. Don't ask me. I can't answer you. I don't know. Okay, fine. So, I go to his place and we get there. Yeah, no, actually, I'm, he's a fun guy, you know. We can do stuff and we can laugh. He makes me laugh. We can play and, and you know, he he's got a vibe. Fine. I get there and we just chill and things happen. We kiss. I don't think we sl I don't think like I slept with him on that first day. No, I don't think so. Yeah, but fast forward, um, we are dating. We agree that okay, we we are gonna call this a relationship and we're gonna be boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay, fine. So we are at a point where it's the honeymoon phase obviously so we are very obsessed with each other and and we want to be with each other all the time and he stay he's he he used to stay off campus and uh, but it wasn't like far it was like very close and it, and it was very close to the side uh where my race is situated on campus so fine we want to be in each other's company all the time but it gets to a point where it worries me because we are spending so much together that I don't think we have enough time to focus on our studies and other things. And so um, I tell him, I'm like, no, I think we need to slow down. We are spending way too much together. We need to at least, you know, um, have some time to, to ourselves so that we can study and do other things that we want to do. And it's like, no, I... I can't help it, you know, I want to spend time with you, you know how guys are, I'm like, oh, okay, so I felt wanted, every girl wants to feel wanted by her boyfriend, and the thing with me is that I always give people the benefit of the doubt, you know, I don't want to use past experiences to discredit other people, you know, and yet uh, there were many people from class telling me that, ah, oh, don't date this guy, uh, this is a fuck boy, uh, you know and i don't know where they were getting those stories from because i never had any of it you know so you know i never had any legitimate story about him being a fuck boy or breaking someone's heart so i didn't want to take it i didn't want to listen to rumors he was my boyfriend and he was making me happy and that was all that mattered to me at the time fine so we continue with this relationship and um we continue spending time together 
and and fine it this was around i think it was around september yeah it was around september and then fine um you know he used to go out with me um there was this one time he introduced me to his best friend and some of his cousins and one time we went to his brother's place in in pretoria and i just felt like this was legit you know and 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 it felt good it felt good it did and fine fast forward exams are approaching end of year exams november they are approaching and 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 fine we write our exams we didn't spend as much time together during the exams but we still you know managed to give each other you know as much attention as we could so fine we do that and okay exams come we write exams and he told he told me like like during the exams that okay him and his friends are planning to go out to kong um on the day of the last exam i'm like okay fine and then he told me during the exams that okay i'm gonna go with you i'm like oh okay cool no problem so fine why am I seeing something weird there by the door? I'm just seeing some movement. I don't know what it is. But anyway, I'm just going to ignore it and be a big girl and do and focus on what I'm doing. Right. So I I'm like, okay, cool, I'll go with you to Kong. And then fine. Um that last day of the exams actually comes and suddenly no, it's a boys it's a it's a boys' night out. Uh, suddenly his friends don't want girls they they want only themselves and i'm like oh this is weird but okay you know whatever what can i do who am i to question it you know and he tells me that it's his friends and not him so i can't be mad at him so i'm like okay i just take it as it is and i i'm like okay fine and um suddenly he's the one that you know he's just acting weird suddenly he's the one that's starting to complain about us spending a lot of time together and i'm like why would he even complain about us spending a lot of time together after we write our final exams i'm like what the actual fuck you know and i just realized from there that something is wrong something must be wrong not you know nothing adds up at this point nothing is cute you know so fine um fine there's a point obviously after exams where we are we are forced to leave race now you know and go home so fine i go home and the day before i go home i get marked there by mt and takes a rink and my phone is taken away from me so hmm. i'm so sorry So, they take my phone and fine, so I can't talk to him. Um, I don't even know his number off by heart at that time. So, I go home. I didn't, I, like, I didn't actually go home. I went to my sister's place before I could come home. So, she had like two phones and she borrowed me her other phone. And I had my WhatsApp there and I get his text. Um, he's been calling me has been texting me what's going on we were and then i tell him the story that i was marked and i lost my phone and he's like okay fine so we continue as a normal girlfriend and boyfriend so at the time i was at my sister's and there was like for like a few days not even a week i think less than five or four days even um th there's this friend of mine um she was the only girl not the only girl but she was the girl that i was closest with in class and she was like literally my friend i worked with her everywhere uh we did everything together we sat together in class so girl texts me and she's like hey i have something to tell you i'm like okay shoot and she sends me screenshots of uh the conversations of him and my boyfriend should i mention names and i probably shouldn't but anyone that's watching my videos who is from my town played in class probably knows who i'm talking about because he's the only guy that i dated from class so so fine she sends me screenshots of them talking and him um asking her to come over to his place and him liking him and him asking him out you know and uh, and the girl 
saying no and telling him that why would you do that you, you're dating my friend why why would you do that you know she didn't get it and i'm i'm, I'm proper heartbroken at the point i'm i'm like really i'm done i'm finished so i read the screenshots and then i i i confront him and i didn't show him the screenshots at first but and he couldn't say anything like he wasn't going to deny anything because he knows that my friend probably sent me this he even says it himself he says no i'm not gonna deny anything because i know uh she has probably showed you our conversations i'm like oh okay so what's the story and he says no i just wanted to test if your friend is loyal to you and if and, and if she would come to my place i'm like oh please as if you would stop her if she if she really came to your place you know and that was it like i was i was finished but i forgave him that was like my first heartbreak i i was never heartbroken before there was like it was so sore guys when i cried i i felt something in my throat it was terrible i yo i had headache out yo i it, yo it was tough fine i forgive him He's from Venda and obviously Nike do not have free and then get a holiday instead of December. He doesn't have a car. I don't have a car. So we can't see each other during the holidays. So, okay, fine. During the first day, was, ah, we're talking on the phone. Everything is okay. Um, you know, from time to time, I still feel like, um, uh, you know, a girlfriend, like a proper girlfriend. I still feel wanted. I still feel that I'm giving attention, you know. And fine, so the holidays are over now and we go back to school and he's just acting very weird, he's distant, he's, he's just awkward, you know. And then I confront him like, but why are you acting like this? I forgave you about what you did, so I don't know what could possibly be the problem now. I hope I'm not boring. <laughs> I hope I'm not boring. But if I am, well, I don't know. So fine. Um fine he tells me okay no i actually have something to tell him like okay shoot he says um he has a problem he found out that the girl that he was dating before me was actually pregnant with his baby and 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 now okay i do know that he comes from a very strict family his 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 dad is a pastor and, and I think his grandfather or one of them, I don't know. But they were very strict, basically. And, and he was telling me how they wanted him to marry the girl because they knew, they knew her as his girlfriend and they started dating from a very young age and wada, 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 wada. I'm like, okay, fine, go be a daddy and go marry your girl then, you know. He says, no, but I want you both. I want to marry both of you. I'll talk to my parents. I love you both. I'm like, hey, nigga, stop right there what the actual fuck are you saying you know i wasn't gonna play along like i really wasn't gonna take that and here's the thing with me i don't give up on people i don't easily give up on a relationship that i invested in and that i genuinely um that i genuinely want to work you know i don't do that but the one thing is that if you just break trust once well in this case it was twice then it was over you know so at that point it was very painful i knew that i loved him i knew that i wanted him but i wasn't going to let any of those things um cloud the fact that this guy has been very unfaithful to me and he has done the things that he has done you know so i was clear that i want him and that i love him but i was also very clear that i don't that i don't that i wasn't going to to compromise and be with him for the sake of me loving him you know so i wasn't gonna do that i was really clear on that point so fine um i'm like no that can happen and then i break up with him and obviously guys that was all lies there was no girl who was pregnant with this baby because he told me that like he was the girl was due in a week or something and then i think two weeks later when i was walking to class because we come from the same direction when we walk into class so i met him on the way and we're just talking and i was asking him where's the baby and he he told me the baby is there but there's no baby like there really isn't any baby i would know you know there were no pictures nothing so i'm like okay i was i was proper played here i was like i was i was proper played this guy done did his game you know he 
he did his thing and i had to accept defeat so that's the story that's the story that's the story yeah I, and i really loved that guy you guys i like i really really liked him but yeah that's what happened and that was my first heartbreak and yeah that's how it went down and um yeah, so we've not been talking since then, but you know, I still have him on, on WhatsApp and yeah, we talked like a bit for a bit, uh, the beginning of the year and, and like not really talk about us or anything, but he used to just like comment on my status updates and stuff like that. And that was, then that was it. And now, no, we don't talk anymore. I don't know. I don't feel that I'm mad. I don't feel mad anymore. You know, I'm just fine. I'm just like, okay. When I see him, I'm like, oh, okay, there's that guy. And then, you know, I feel nothing. Like, literally, I feel nothing. And it's the most liberating thing ever. So, yeah, that's what happened. That is my set and fun um, story time. Heartbreak. An ex story. So, yeah, that was it. That was it. That was literally it. And, yeah. I think I wanted to say something, but I forgot. You know when Beyonce sings, best thing I, best, is it best thing I never had or best thing I ever had, whatever, whatever the name of that song is, but she really dedicates it to an ex of hers that treated her like absolute trash, but she still acknowledges the fact that, you know what, thank you, you know, thank you for being an asshole, because guess what, you helped me find the love of my life, and here, I am happy you know, with my baby, you know, so I literally feel the same, like, mother B, same sentiments, mom, like, same sentiments, because I'm with my boyfriend for, we've been together for, like, a year and a half now, so, yeah, this year and six months, so, and I couldn't be happier, I really couldn't be happier, we've had our ups and downs, we broke up, I think, for two months or something, but what was important is that no matter what happens, we are always aware of the fact that we want each other and and we try to make it work and honestly since we got back together i'm the happiest like i am literally the happiest so you know what motherfucker <laughs> you guys know i'm not like this but i'm like okay you know what thank you for doing whatever that you did because hey 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 I'm at a point that I, re I'm, I mean, it, I'm, I am currently, this is my favorite chapter of my life and not just um, relationship wise or anything, my family, my everything, we are absolutely happy, we are growing together, we are, we are best friends and it's amazing, God loves us, God really loves us. Oh no, I feel so bad. Why am I talking about God and I'm here being a drunkard? But anyway, yeah, so literally this is the best chapter of my life right now. My circles, I have people in my life that that are amazing. I have I have people of substance in my life, you know. Um I have people who know what they want. I have people that that motivate me. I have people that I can go to. Um for anything really you know and my boyfriend is one of those people and and i am the happiest girl i really am the happiest girl and so yeah yeah this is what happens sometimes sometimes you know things happen so that they could they can make way for better things and i think this is the case with me no exception so so yeah whatever happened was very hateful then but um I acknowledge it now. I really do acknowledge and appreciate that it happened at this point. So yeah, I tried to be not serious today. So yeah, I gave you something. And and yeah, thank you guys. Um, We are currently on 85 subscribers. The last time I checked last night. So 15 subscribers away from 100. Um uh for my okay so this is what i'm gonna do once we hit 100 subscribers please comment below and tell me like what video you'd like me to do um to celebrate 100 subscribers so just put down your suggestions in the comment sections and then uh when i do hit 100 subscribers then i will i will choose which one of your suggestions to do right and yeah i'll probably not um I'll probably not, um, what's the word? The English has run away. Oh my goodness. I will probably not, 
oh my goodness i will probably not ignore but this is not the word that i wanted but anyway for lack of a better word i will probably not ignore um the rest of the suggestions that i don't choose but i'll do them at a later stage you know but um once i hit 100 subscribers i'm just gonna do one of the videos that are suggested and then one time when maybe i have run out of content then i will go back and, and revisit those other suggestions that you gave down uh the comment section of this video so yeah thank you so so much you guys for i think yeah but like you know those two the first videos the the um, the feedback was 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 crazy like it had so they had so many views i don't know what's going on so yeah but i will not lose hope so please guys keep supporting me keep liking please subscribe please comment and and i don't get why because those videos were absolute trash guys you know the quality was 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 depressing but anyway doesn't matter um we'll get there baby steps baby steps one step at a time but we will eventually get there thank you so much i can't thank you enough for for all the love that i get from my friends from strangers from the people that i know from social media it's amazing you guys are amazing thank you i appreciate you i really really do so please subscribe please share my videos and please comment and like if you like hit the notification button so that you get notifications every time i upload a new video so that you don't miss out on anything that i put up so yeah thank you mm -hmm.